Hello there, Jelly Rocks here. Welcome back to Mars. So, we are currently in the process of growing in here. We're researching in here at the moment. What, what was I researching? Oh, yeah, CO2 scrubbing. Uh, resource wise, we've not really got an awful lot yet. We need to get this sorted. We've not got. Um, We've not really got anywhere to dump our stuff just yet, so I'm going to do a little uh, stockpile zone in here. Like so. Um, as uh, one of you quite rightly uh, pointed out, I've still got the stuff over there, so I know I've still got a trowel over there. So that could be used for the, uh, the grower. Let's go and... Uh, I'm assuming that Gogo -Go is our grower. Let's have a little look. Mm, he's not a specific grower, but he has got the botany skill of three. So let's go ahead and give him that. Uh, we're going to get this stuff hauled in in a little sec. We're going to get this mined. There we go. Get some more sand put down. Not sand, sorry. Uh, soil. Let's quickly put that down because that's about to pop. Are you going to put it down in time? Let's see. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? 96.7. 97. Come on. You do it. I believe in you. Yeah, you did it. Right, once that's mined, we can then start hauling. We also need to get... Um, oh, we, we don't necessarily need a battery just yet, but... I want to definitely want to get a battery on the go. So dirty. Right, surely that's clean enough now. Right, go on, get hauling. What are you doing? De deconstructing? Cleaning rock rubble? What the heck? Oh, I put a zone over here before, didn't I? Right, let's let's remove that because that's not our home. Let's uh, draft in quickly to get him to come back. Right, get that stuff hauled. There we go, making soil again. Now, I don't know why there's components in there. It's a bit of a silly place to put them. Okay, looks like he's had enough and he's gone to bed. So at least we've got a couple of them constructing. That's going to be pretty easy to... Uh, build this out. In fact, talking of building this out, we need to get this all mined out. There we go. Because we've hardly got a, a that big a grow zone just yet. Let's see if we've got any more. Wow, one extra growing zone there. That should be mined out now though. Then it's just that bit to do. Okay, next day. So it's such a slow process this at the start. Um, I did have a look. Um, where's the... I've just realised something. Didn't I find... I found an RTG, didn't I? Uh, where the heck is it? Where is my RTG? There's the obelisk. Oh, RTG! Did I imagine that? Have all these RimWorld videos blended into one? Did I not find one? Did I did I dream of RimWorld? Did I dream of a power source? I'm pretty sure when I started this seed, I found one. Let's have a little look. We've got a power there. Yeah. Seems fine. Hmm. I wonder. Well, no more when he's actually finished doing all the stuff. Oh no, we did get more growing spots. Look here. Right, miners are mining. What? One of my. One of the. Uh... My brain's gone dead. One of the uh, solar generator. Solar panel. Don't know why they call solar generators or solar panels. Okay. You keep making that soil, buddy. That's it, put it down. OK. 
Okay. I'm pretty sure if there was an RTG, I'd be able to just spot it. Yeah, there was that. Pathfinder. Ooh. Room 02 low. Why is... What a minute. What do you mean the O... Why is the O2 low? <gasps> no, wait a minute. The generator broke down there. Wait a minute. What's going on? So let's take a little look at this. Power needed 175 watts. Yeah. PSI is good. The O2 looks like it's good. Why are we... Why is it saying it's low? Really don't understand that. Oh, got our grow zone pretty good as well. I mean, surely the plants should contribute to the uh, the OT levels. All right, so we still need to dig more in here. I'm going to let them not dig after these are done. I want to see if there is some random bits I've not spotted. Because I'm sure I had an RTG. Really don't understand how I've not got one. Okay, finally hole in the bedrooms. Well, one of you is. Nice. Food's actually getting moved. Cloves. And off to bed. So let's let's take a little look at this. So the pressure's going up. The O2 is going up as well. Maybe because I've had so many people in there doing so many activities, it's uh, took a little bit of a, a little bit of a hit on the O2 levels. Okay, now there was a thing over here we can disassemble a pathfinder. Where's it gone? There it is. Let's deconstruct that. I should definitely have to go back and watch that first video because I'm I'm pretty sure I disassembled an RTG and was all made up because I got the power. But looking back now, I cannot find one anywhere. I can't find any components. Uh, I can get rid of these now. They, they haven't got anything in them, so I can just disassemble them. That's still... The power's still full for that, so we're okay for that for the minute. Still researching. Temperature's not too bad in that room as well. We need to uh, get some more sand dug. Get all this filled up. We're going to be able to get enough one in time. I don't think so. We're on 97%. Oh, nice. We did just in time. Right. It's a pity you can't just say, collect sand until you've got 10. Okay, let's create another grow zone here. We've got that whole other side of that's populated just yet, so we're not we're not out of the woods yet with this um, the structure. So let's put some more soil down. So the, the the whole grow room is basically all of this bit. So we want to put some more dry soil down all along here. Is that what what soil is that there? Dry soil. Okay, so that's waiting to get a. Uh, Moistened. Gonna dig a ridiculous amount of. I don't think we probably. We might not need that much. Let us, for now, I want someone to do priority hauling, so. Go, go. You can be our hauler. Get the hauling done. There you go. So while you're digging, you can haul.
Okay, so we've got a spare bedroom over there. Uh, we need to start digging out um, the another spare room maybe for uh, items and stuff. We've got uh, got quite a while until any the the crew come. Now I'd like to do. I don't know how you've done it. I should really have done this in an off an off video, but let's do uh, manage outfits. So let's do let's do an indoor outfit. I, I want to. I want to see if I can do an outfit only for indoors because apparently they work a lot faster with uh, no clothes on. I mean, I could I could uh, really do the same thing by just um, how much iron have I got? I've got quite a lot of iron left. Should I do this? I don't know whether I even need to do this. Right, let's do. Yeah, screw it. Let's do this. So, that's a standard door, that's an airlock. So as soon as I were coming outside, I want to do an airlock. And I don't trust the airlocks not to blow. So, we're going to do an iron wall. Oh, luckily, lucky, lucky, I checked that then. I nearly did a steel airlock. We want an iron airlock. Okay. And then, we are going to dig, 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 dig. Okay, speed it up. How's the O2 levels doing this now? Coming up a bit, going up to 20% O2. Woo! That was a lucky break. Woke up choking. Temperature is just below freezing in there, which is a bit, a bit sucky. I'm um, not really confident that I'm outputting enough power. I mean, see, I mean, at night time, I've, I've used 1,300. Maybe I would have enough power. Now, are you hauling? Yeah, gold. There's more gold there as well. Okay, that's getting built, good. What are you doing? Playing, playing horsey shoe. Okay, get this built up. I mean, I do this and what I'm gonna do in a minute, I'm just gonna, we are gonna get naked. Well, not me personally, but in the game. So let's look at the temperature. The temperature is pr still pretty pants for everyone. I'm just wondering if I can, if I can, res if I can um, risk putting a a heater down. Sixty-five steel. Hmm. I've got all my main requirements though. The only thing I've not got is a nutrient dispenser. That's ninety steel. And a hopper's fifteen. Ah, oh, decisions. Can I build a nutrient dispenser out of iron? Nope. Can I build the iron hot that hopper out of iron? No. What about the smelting station? See, oh look at that! I've just not got enough steel. 150. Do have we t have we brought all the steel from over here in yet? Are we? Oh no. Oh look at that! I'm five short. Is there any steel on the map? Because the smelter, as far as I'm, I, I'm aware, the smelter is the other way of getting um, steel in this game. So if I can't find any steel anywhere, then that sucks. Yeah, there's literally no other steel anywhere. That's marble. Oh, it's such a hard resource to come by. It's ridiculous. Um, right, so I'm going to try this for a little while. I don't know how effective it'll be or if it'll be worth it, but I'm going to lock the outside room. Uh, Temperature-wise, isn't too bad. There. It's, it's all right. 
temperature at the moment. So let's get our gear on. And let's have a little look at this thing again. So I want to do manage outfits, do new outfit. I'm going to call this no suit. And we don't want the EVA suit on. And I guess we don't want headgear. I don't know if that's one or two things. We'll try that. So, and then we're going to assign everyone to the uh, no suit outfit. And see how we get on with this. Now, the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is, hmm, is O2 levels. I've only got oxygen in this room. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Right. Yeah, that, that is a terrible idea. As soon as you take the uh, oxygen suit off, they're going to start uh, suffocating, I think. So we'll uh, we'll forget that idea. The only, the only way we could do it is if it was in that room. Um, I don't think you can specify zones for um, outfits. I don't think you can. No. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm going to keep them inside anyway to do all these tasks. There's plenty more uh, soil to be made here. Ooh, we've got an eclipse. That means the uh, power is rapidly will have gone. That could be quite problematic, actually. How much power have we got reserved? Nearly 4,000, but... That definitely won't last. Okay, we could do to dig this a little bit as well. I'm not going to... Oh, we've wasted all that there. But I'm just going to build what we've got at the moment. Okay, speed this up. Can't make the sand fast enough. I mean, the soil fast enough. Okay, any more dry... Any more wet soil? Hmm, can't see any. We want more moist soil. Yes, I don't know how you'd... Um, I think maybe the only way you could... Um, is do vents, but it's steel. Again, I've got no steel. I have got steel, but... I <laughs> sure as heck haven't got enough to be wasting on uh, making vents. Okay, so that's another two left. Oh, we're nearly uh, nearly done on all those bits now. The, the miners better step up the game. Let's dig a little bit more sand. I think we pretty much have, we'll have enough uh, soil to. Uh, Accomplish all this now. Let's uh, put some more soil down. Oh, we might be able to make it this cycle. Two left. One left. Come on, you can do it. Nice. Oh, power's back up as well. Hopefully all this is going to become uh, damp soil. Let's have a little look. Oh, yeah. So these potatoes are growing ever so slowly. So I don't have to do different grow zones, really. Um, they're not going to be happy eating raw um, rice, which is a shame. So I don't want to put... I might put strawberries down. Now, there seems to be a bit of a halt on uh, research at the moment, so we're going to bump 
not sorry, bump. We're gonna let's check our right, yeah. So let's move uh, Botany down for uh, QB Keck. Get researching, buddy. Now, the thing is, now this is gonna pop up and say I can build a CO2 scrubber. And if I can't build that with iron, oh, what are you fighting for? Idiots. <laughs> yeah, let's have a fight and then eat some food. Okay, Gogo's a bit bored. Not like you can do. Do anything. Oh, I've got. Oh, it's, oh no, that's no, okay. That's uranium. I was like thinking, what's that over there? Right, there's no disadvantage. There's, well, there's no advantage to leaving this locked at the moment. So, oh, actually, our joy thing was outside, wasn't it? Oops. I completely forgot about that. Right, I think we can go ahead and cancel this sand. We don't really need it at the moment. And unless I suddenly decide to uh, move all of that, come on, point to haul. No, there you go, haul, haul. I mean, I can actually build a an iron uh, stone cutters table. I don't know why I'd want to, and I can use iron, and I've got iron everywhere. Um, the only thing I've not got is a... Uh, can I make an iron... Oh, I can make a tailoring bench, you see. I've not really got that many little areas for doing cotton. I mean, is that one there? Do I really be wanting to make cloves, though? When I'm actually going to be starving in a little while. Okay, let's have another little scout round. So this is so tricky to survive. I mean, I've got silver, but I've not got any steel. I really don't understand how I'm supposed to survive without uh, steel. I mean, if I do the production, the soil uses 75. Oh, it doesn't use it. I used iron, didn't I? Let me go and double check. I'm pretty sure I made it out of iron. Yeah, I did. So apart from the... any doors no see there's no doors I've made of steel there's pretty much nothing I've made of steel apart from the uh, steel water production system so that's just pants someone was uh, running out of oxygen then Well, at least we've got a nice tidy base. I could go ahead and start mining some of this. I don't know what use uranium is. Probably none really to me. One colonist is idle. Who's idle? Go, go. Do some mining then. Oh, nice. Harvesting. Okay, so we've got some potatoes. Delicious potatoes. Just trying to think how I can expand this base at the moment and keep it uh, heated. There's no, there's no natural sort of steam geysers on this um, this map. So, oh, what? Don't you dare break down! Right, you go and fix that. If you don't fix that, we will have no oxygen. There you go. Finish CO two scrubbing. Okay, let's uh, go back to the research screen. So, I wanted to look for some sort of mining stuff. 
I mean, I could do hydroponics. Let's go for that. Let's go for hydroponics. Okay, so and now I can build this scrubber thing, which is the end of control. This. It's got a lot of use of my stuff, though. Hmm. I don't understand. I really don't understand what this actually does. Because the CO2 scrubber uses a fan to circulate air through a lithium hydroxide cell that reacts with CO2 to produce lithium carbonate, also known as limestone. Now, if I, if I click on uh, the room here, not the room, sorry, the uh, air outlet, I can see that CO2 is really, really low. So I think at some point I'm going to need to build one of these, but I don't know if I need to build one now or wait a little while. Because steel is precious. Maybe I should start thinking about building accommodation for when the uh, other colonists come. So I could go ahead and do that. That's no, uh, that's no big deal. Do iron walls. I've got enough iron at the moment. Um, I probably want to all either come into this room or live off this room so I could just build an extension off here do some more bedrooms I'm not even going to give them massive bedrooms let's just give them uh, three by three I think and we're going to do these are going to be sealed off Okay, that's what I can't count. I'm just trying to think now. How are you going to get in and out of the bedrooms? They're going to have to go outside. Okay. They're pretty small. But there'll be rooms. Yeah, you go and get your oxygen. Right. 92% grown, 78% grown. Do we need more iron? We've got, we've got quite a decent amount of iron at the moment. I think we'll be okay. I just don't think they're going to be happy eating raw potatoes though. I mean, I could build a a stove but then the food is gonna just like fr not freeze but the food the food is gonna um unless I keep it frozen it's gonna go off isn't it but I haven't actually built them a uh, anywhere to eat yet which probably has a knock-on effect with them let's look at the needs yeah we could go ahead and build a table I guess an iron table just give them a little table it's going to be everything's going to be in the same room now okay iron dining chairs okay I can't see which way that's facing there we go just do it for three at the moment and what else did I say I was going to build in here? Um, I really want. I really want to give put um, ventilation down. I just don't understand the oxygen. There's definitely oxygen in here, but then how am I going to spread the oxygen to all these other rooms so they can take the suits off? We've got a bald spot here. How have I missed that? There we go. That was uh that was a bit interesting. Get that precious uranium inside. Get building the rooms. Actually, let's get the uh, table prioritised. 
It's about time we had a table to eat off. Yeah, so I was, before I started getting sidetracked by things, thinking about putting an electric stove down. But again, it's going to use precious stuff. Hmm. Because they are literally just going to be eating raw potatoes at the moment. I think we need a little bit more iron. We appear to have run out. Is that wet yet? No, it's still dry. Right, we've got all that uranium nearly now. We need to concentrate on that steel and getting these rooms finished, getting the uh, table finished. Well, the table is finished, but it's the chairs. The chairs we need. Okay, how is this growing? 41% grown. It's taking a long time to grow. didn't realise it takes so long to actually um, build all this stuff. I thought I well had enough uh, materials. I might start doing some exploratory digs as well to see if I can randomly get... If, if I could find a, a, a seam of steel. I mean, there is... Let me go to the um, research tech tree. There is the underground scanner. So I might be able to get the stuff with that. So I need to get microelectronic basics first so maybe I can, get, I can get to that and get steel from that okay some more steel nice okay I've just seen the time so that's it that's, an, that's it for another episode of RimWorld Mars V2 uh, Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Any uh, any suggestions of uh, the base layout? Greatly appreciated. I've been. If if any of you have got experience of the O2, I'd be interested in that. What I want to know is the CO2. What's the safe level with that before I need to build a scrubber? And also, how the heck do you manage the heat? This is nice and toasty. Everywhere else is freezing. And I've just spotted the RTG. How did I miss that? It's there. <laughs> I knew I'd found one. I knew I knew my old age wasn't making me go that senile, right? So uh, yeah, the the other query I've got is uh, I'd like to basically have this whole area as a no uh, suit policy. But if they take the suit off in these other rooms, surely they're going to die because there's no O2 because the O2 is only in here. So how unless I, I restrict access to the other rooms but there's pretty much nothing for them to do in this room at the moment um so hmm various questions to ponder anyway thanks for watching i'm shirley rocks this is rimworld and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching see you again